curveballs and unpredictable things happen and not lose our deepest sense of peace because we are, remain, uh, we are deeply uh, in relationship with him. So if you can join me in that prayer. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Heavenly Father, as we journey throughout today and head into the weekend, I ask that you help us to experience you, that we may encounter your loving presence and through that experience we may experience your deep peace and to live our entire life regardless of what comes our way living out of that deep peace, your deep peace. We offer all this up in your son's holy name, and we thank you for this opportunity. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Any grade 12s wishing to return to HT for a fifth year are to attend a... registration meeting today at the beginning of period two in the lower cafeteria. The deadline to sign up for timetable changes for this semester has been extended until 3 p.m. on Monday, February 11th. Attention all grade nine and ten girls interested in playing girls rugby this fall. There will be a sign-up sheet outside the phys ed office. No experience necessary. Come try a new sport. Anyone interested in trying out for the girls' soccer team are asked to please attend a mandatory meeting at the beginning of lunch in room 239 today. If you cannot attend the meeting, please see Mrs. Hack in room 239. The Canadian Computing Challenge will be happening this month. Any students interested in participating in it are to speak to Mr. Vanderweel in room 251 at lunch. A quick message from the cafeteria. Come into the cafe and enjoy our delicious supervisor specials. Thank you, and we appreciate your business. That's all from us. Now over to a promo. Okay, you rolling? Okay. We're going to scare Jason with this spider. Come on. We're going to get him back. Watch it. Guys, this is a film set. You got it. Oh. Tons of things happen in our lives every day. And in a 24-hour period, we ask ourselves so many different questions. Like, what should I eat? What should I wear? Or who should I hang out with? Sometimes we ask bigger questions like, what do I want to be when I grow up? Who will I marry? Or where will I live? But every once in a while, we ask ourselves those even bigger questions. Questions like, why am I here? What's my purpose? And is there more to life than this? The reality is, there aren't a lot of places we can go to explore life's biggest questions. So, on Alpha, we want to create a space where we can talk about those kind of questions in a way that's open and honest. In each one of our hearts, it's like we have a happiness bucket that we're constantly trying to fill. It can sound like this. If I just had uh, more money or nicer clothes or a new girlfriend, then I'd be happy. 
the nights would come and the girls would be gone, like they'd be just me, you know, me and I guess God, right? And I'm like, okay, there's definitely more to life than this. Like, I just want, I want, I want, I want, and you don't get anything. There's this deeper, even spiritual hunger that we're all trying to satisfy. As someone who grew up in an atheistic home, I wasn't just gonna accept what he was gonna say. So I was like, okay, did this actually happen historically? What's the evidence? I'm not gonna just buy into something because I get swept up in the emotion of it. You have approximately 570,000 hours left to live. And we want to invite you to spend less than 24 of them with us on Alpha. Hey Titans, it's Hayden and Jada here to talk briefly about the Alpha program regarding the promo that you just saw. So Alpha is a new program coming to our school that is led by students for students. It's going to be a non-judgmental, safe group that, you, that anyone can come to to discuss deep and meaningful conversations and talk about questions you have regarding your faith or just about life in general. The program will begin Friday the 8th after school in the chapel until around 4.30 and will go on on for quite a few day Fridays to come at the same time. You can come once, a few times, or every time and you can bring as many friends as you'd like. So come join us and fellow peers for a time of reflection, conversation, and even some free snacks as well. Thanks, Titans, and we hope to see you in the chapel after school. Now over to Mr. Casillas. Morning, Titans. Hope everyone had a restful and safe uh, two uh, snow days. Uh, if you haven't noticed, it is very windy outside. And since it's windy, there's a probability increases of a power failure. So if power goes out here at school, you need to remember one thing, you have to remain in your classroom. So do not leave the classroom, you are to remain in your classroom, even if it goes past the time that you're supposed to leave uh, the class. It is safer to keep 20 or 30 students in a classroom than to have 1,000 students walking around in dark hallways. So if the power goes out, please stay in your classroom. Teachers on prep are to come to the main office and we will communicate to the classrooms through our staff going and visiting each classroom. If the power goes out, hopefully it will not. Teachers, it might be a good idea to review the red folders in your classroom, uh, what to do in the event of a power failure. Uh, today is our first uh, Friday of the second semester, so it means it's Spirit Wear Day. Uh, you're allowed to replace a uniform piece with Spirit Wear. Uh, you should only have Spirit Wear or uniform pieces on today. No, no non-uniform or non-Spirit Wear items should be brought into the classroom. They need to be uh, in your locker. If you missed the very first announcement, it's for grade 12s. If you want to come back for a fifth year, there is a registration meeting today uh, in period two in the lower cafeteria. Uh, outside the main office is our lost and found. There's a lot of items out there. So if, uh, if something is yours, please take it. If nothing claimed by the end of the day will be donated to the St. Vincent de Paul Society. On Tuesday, our Holy Trinity Senior Reach team competed in their second tournament of the year. The Titans brought their A game, gaining some big points as they battled some of the top teams of the region. The Titans uh, were able to move up two big spots in the standings, moving them into sixth as they head into the regionals in March. Shoutouts go to Connor Turnicliffe, Carly Stevens, Alita Zhang, Caitlin Van Dyke, and Jordan Hoover. Awesome work. Now, also on Tuesday, our junior girls volleyball team cruised to a 3-0 victory over Waterford. The team ends their regular season uh, this afternoon against Delhi here in our home court. So good luck to our junior girls. And finally, congratulations to the senior girls volleyball team for winning three games on Tuesday night against Waterford. Uh, standout players were Meg Baxter, Ali Paraki, and Michaela Benz. A reminder that the girls play tonight uh, against Delhi. This game is for first place, so if you have a chance to go see them after school, they play at three o'clock. Good luck to our girls as they play for first place tonight. Also wanna give a shout out to our senior boys basketball team. They're at the All-Catholic Tournament today in St. Catharines, and our boys hockey team who are playing in Delhi today in a tournament. That's it from us Titans. Have a great weekend.